Hello, friends and followers. Well, I'm at it again with the Tentec Hercules 444 amplifier finals board, and this is a schematic of the bias board. So I tried firing this thing up last night, and this R11 here burned up. It just smoked and went into flames. I'm not sure why. I would think the only way this could burn up was 48 volts got into here and it burned it from here. Or how else could it get in here? 48 volts went in through here. I don't know what happened, but it burned it to pieces. So anyway, I have attached the uh, bias board once again to 12 volts. Can feed 12 volts in through there. I'm feeding it through the uh, a word power supply here, which puts 12 volts into the ALEXA and using it that way. So anyway, now that it's all hooked up, you can put a jumper right here to 12 volts to give it an enable enablement. And that will, as you see, control. So it'll enable these chips here to uh, regulate and cause the pass transistors to conduct bias. And sure enough, on uh, the middle pin here is the bias number. You can look at it. So I'm seeing dot five volts going into that transistor there, which I guess is fine. And on the other one, what do we have here? It's almost the same. So. I can ditto with this knob here and turn it, and that will change the bias, I would guess, to dot five here. Or will it not? Yeah, it sure will. So anyway, that's how that works. And it looks like now I do have control over the bias with those potentiometers. The bias does depend on this little thermistor right here, which will feed back through one of these pins here. That thermistor is called Therm, T-H-M. No, it's called diode, actually, diode. Diode one and diode two. So those all should go. So I think the circuit is well now and working. I'm not sure why it smoked out last night. I did put a juicy, probably a, I don't know, five watt resistor in here, one watt. There's a big 100 ohm right there. You can see the blue one where it burned up before. So I don't like doing that. It could burn the whole board, but the other one was in flames. So i uh, not sure why. Anyway, let's see how this goes. I, I, I doubt, here's the two new uh, MRF 428s I put in. I'm probably thinking that this, this was not working before and these weren't getting biased, but I doubt this will work. I doubt this amplifier up, but we'll see. It'll probably explode again. All right. Well, thanks for watching. This has been a frustrating endeavor in fixing this amplifier. It, it probably, these aren't matched. It probably needs a match set, but who knows? Anyway, I'm going to give it some bias and see what this guy will do. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.